Hey, what's up guys, Bovarel here, and today I'm going to take some time to talk about why the new gun, the L85A1, is so special, and how its unique animation set could be used as an example to drastically improve the performance of every other scoped weapon in the game. So let me explain in detail what really makes the L85 so unique. When looking side by side between this and the AUR, you can see that while firing, the L85 has a stable sight picture, and that the eye relief and reticle position is completely unaffected by the recoil of the gun. This means that you can fire in full auto and still keep the same sight picture, letting you land more shots overall at longer ranges. So pretty easy to understand the difference, but why is this so important? Well, like I said, this is currently the only gun in the game that has this, and the application of it to every other scope gun would at least to some degree affect the balancing of them in their favor. Let's start by talking about the gun I think would benefit the most if it received this animation template, and that is the VSS. Right now, there's not much reason to really use it over the SVU, because, well, it's just kind of worse in a lot of ways. It has worse bullet velocity, worse bullet drop over distance, and the same two-shot damage profile to the upper chest. I guess it could be argued that the VSS is better for closer ranges, but honestly, I feel like that doesn't nearly compensate for the comparative lack in long-range capability. But its one advantage over the SVU is its rarity and its recoil. And the recoil aspect is what's important here, because right now in first person due to the bouncing of the scope, neither of these are really usable in first person auto. But if this scope change is applied to the VSS and the SVU, it will have a clear advantage in that field due to the lower recoil. To compare this to an another game, I used to play a fair amount of Rainbow Six, and I remember in the competitive scene, a lot of people would throw ACOGs on low recoil SMGs because the magnification makes headshots easier to hit, and the recoil is still low enough to manage. So this same principle is what would happen on the VSS, and it would be able to hit targets in automatic at range with much greater ease. Will this fully change the order of the meta? No. I still think the VSS will be slightly worse than the S4U, even after the changes, because of the other downsides in ballistic performance. But this should at least bring it closer in line and make the gun stand out a bit more in comparison. Now, let me touch on the other important guns in this equation, the AUR line. Specifically, I think this will impact the para and its use the most. If it's now much easier to full auto in first person, in theory we'll be able to stretch its range much further than it currently allows. And I know I for one will absolutely laser people with it in full auto if it gets this change. The H-bar will also be particularly interesting, when it's bipodded specifically, because with the bipod recoil reduction, fast bullet velocity, and no obscured sight picture, it may be able to full auto with greater efficiency even in literal sniper battles. Imagine this scenario. Somebody's sniping at you with an M21 on Felcanton. They miss their first few shots, and you're able to reposition and get a more unexpected peaking angle. And now, with that scope change, you can prone out and full auto with very reasonable accuracy at a distance of over 100 meters. The AUR is also going to be pretty different, but I feel like its bullet velocity and third person accuracy still make it more worth it to just use third in most scenarios. Although once again, it might be a little bit better at long, long ranges when you're trying to, you know, basically just snipe out other people who have M21s and SVDs and whatnot. Really, on all guns with scopes, there would be a noticeable improvement to their ease of use. Not having to worry about the top of your scope covering your target for a moment can make a huge difference. And overall, I think it would make it much easier to try track people in these sites. So I think we should definitely apply this animation set to all that are possible, because I think it'll make long range firefights a lot more interesting. Once again, I would love to hear your guys' opinions on this matter though, because I'm only one perspective, and I like to take in all sides of an argument. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. This has been Boba Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.